As a commissioner, I've had a lot of challenges. My largest challenge has been about how do we include people who have been historically locked out of the community. And we do that through what I call my MWBE program. My colleagues on the court, they embrace it. Minority, women, business, enterprise. How do you bring people into the equation? Are there real goals and objectives? Because we understand in the larger community is that as you empower people, you empower your future, you empower the community. And we've done that at Dallas County goals and their objectives, and I think we've, we've met those. Those are not goals and objectives that were just all of a sudden decided by me. This is a court initiative that we have embraced. And so with the MWBE director, we get reports, goods and services. And if you have a business, we want you in Dallas County. All you've got to do is call 214-653-6671 and we'll make you a part of this program, which is about empowering you, empowering our community. A good business community is a healthy community, especially for those of us in Dallas County. Uh, we only have one real revenue stream and that's called ad valorem property taxes. So the better business you are, the better homeowner you are, Better Dallas County is going to be a So we just say thank you. People talk about initiatives in terms of resources in their community. They talk about how fortunate they are to have Fortune 100, 200, 500, Fortune 1000 companies. But there is nothing that is more delivering than health care. We talk about health care in this country, 16% of Americans are uninsured. 25% of Texans are uninsured. But in Dallas, 33% are uninsured. And we're very fortunate to have Parkland Hospital District in this community. For over 15 years, Parkland has been named one of the top 100 hospitals by News and World Report. When you have a resource like Parkland, a billion dollar annual budget, they have been able to balance their mission with being fiscally responsible. And so when you understand that, then you say, why do we need a new Parkland? Well, first of all, it's an aging infrastructure, 1954. When is the last time you had a 1954 automobile, 1954 train, bus, house, you name it. And so when you talk about a 54 institution, you can only retrofit it only so much. I support Parkland. Over a billion dollar budget, when you look at its bond rating, its physical responsibility, Parkland delivers. And we're very fortunate. Parkland only uses 40% of its ad valorem taxes, its property taxes, toward operations. Only 40%. About 400 million. The rest of it is made up from Medicaid, Medicare, and, and private insurance payments. And so when you look at Parkland, Parkland has managed to understand its mission, be fiscally responsible, and has earned your support. A teaching hospital connected to the only university medical school in the world with four Nobel Prizes in medicine. Over 50% of the trauma, those car accidents, those gunshots, those burns, Parkland treats in this region. Second largest civilian burn unit in the United States, Parkland. I can give you many reasons why Parkland has earned your support. Now we're asking you to support Parkland. Lives depend on it. The Health Advisory Committee grew out of Kwanzaa Fest. It was one thing to talk about coming together annually at the, for two days and talk about the health disparities, but we needed to go beyond just two days. Unfortunately, a number of the zip codes 
that deal with health disparities, be it diabetes, be it hypertension, uh, be it cancer, unfortunately are right in the center of where we hold the Kwanzaa Fest Festival. And so as a result, we said if we're going to embody the principles, Nia, Swahili word meaning purpose, then we had to create the committee. And with, with great volunteers as Kwanzaa Fest, Public Health Advisory came together. And we meet on a quarterly basis. And we reach out to those individuals who are trying to service the community in terms of those health disparities. Uh, we, we talk about those disparities, and then we try to move to an action plan. And so, as a, an outgrowth of any venue should be how the community benefits. It's not about posturing. It's not about just an annual event, about entertainment. Kwanzaa Fest has produced an offspring called Public Health Advisory. And from that committee, we have done the medical equivalents for doctors. Uh, we do the continuing education. We brought in the Surgeon General. We continue to talk about the issue of health. Because like Parkland, like Health Fest, we understand a healthy community is a viable community. And in the final analysis, if the community is not healthy, nothing else really matters. It doesn't matter how many Fortune 500, Fortune 100 companies come into your city. If you don't have a healthy community, then it's not a viable community. So on behalf of the Health Fest Committee, on behalf of the Public Health Advisory Committee, on behalf of Kwanzaa Fest, on behalf of Parkland, we need to drive to a healthy community. And as we say at Parkland, lives depend on.